Good morning, everyone. Well, it's actually afternoon, but we went out to the shops to top up on some supplies like milk and coffee, the important things. And then I went to switch on the vlog and battery exhausted. I think because last night we were just so tired from all the traveling that we just went straight to bed and uh, forgot to put the cameras on charge. But now we are back at home, got our traveling blues, we missed Whistler. But uh, the first thing we wanted to do is have some food. <laughs> and what better than a yummy pizza? Do you want to say morning? Morning guys. So I'm really tired today. Yeah. Um, I'm not feeling very well either. I think I'm getting a cold. So I think my plan today is to watch some vampire <coughs> Netflix. Diaries. Watch some vampire diaries and relax. Yeah, it's almost like sometimes you need, I know we are on a year long holiday, but sometimes you need like a day off from your holidays to just relax. I'm gonna finish editing up yesterday's vlog, which is the Sunday one, which with the bungee, with the bungee jumping, but you guys would have seen that already, so give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed that video. Uh, and then after that, I think I'm gonna join in on the Netflix binge watching. So I think it'll probably take me the next three hours to edit it. It'll be about four o'clock and I th we've been he hearing such good things about that Daredevil show on Netflix, that new one. We love our superhero movies and we love our Marvel movies, so we have to sit down and watch it and we'll tell you guys what we think. Maybe we'll get a couple episodes in. But yeah, we'll keep you updated on the day. We didn't eat it in, can in Whistler, but we found our crunch chocolate from the other day. Oh, I was craving it ever since we had that Easter bunny, which Jess pretty much ate the whole thing. <laughs> I want it! I got that one. I want it, one, remember? That one piece. People that watch, they will know. I, it, I want it. So yeah, update number one. <laughs> <laughs> Is that we've eaten a pizza and now we're on the crunch. Mm, the pizza did not help my tiredness. Oh, I could just I'm go straight so to sleep. sleep. I don't feel good at all. I've had such a fair day. Oh, do you want me to get the corn flute tappers for you? Yeah. Yeah, alright. I've just been watching YouTube videos. Mm, I hear, I hear giggles in the corner. What have you been watching? I was watching Zoe's daily vlogs. Because when we ever go away, I always have so many to watch. I was watching that. Yeah, it's it so far. Well, Zoe, that's who's been giggling then. Yeah. In the corner. She is a giggler, isn't she? Mm. I like watching her daily vlog. I like watching um, um, Alfie's daily vlogs as well. I watch them both. Mm. It's not many daily vlogs you watch because, like, I don't know, don't you think you get involved in their life and you want to watch them? Mm. Just like Ben Brown and Louie, too, with their adventures. Yeah, I'm getting involved. I haven't started editing the vlog yet, and now it's 1.30, <laughs> but my belly is full. Jess is hugging a very full belly. Oh, don't, so don't cool. pull it. <laughs> How's the editing going? It's not. It's like now three. <laughs> I guess I would finish at four and it's still a mess. Still a mess. Still Lots a mess. of footage to go through. Lots of footage. We went crazy on the last day. Yeah. So. I don't know, because we knew we were leaving. We wanted to oh, take it all in. Fine. It's not in my editing. Yeah. I'm gonna make us some soup. Oh, that sounds good. Even soup though we've. With yeah. like butter smothered on some toast. Okay. <laughs> like I smothered. <laughs> Drip and swag goo all over my soup. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys are just gonna have to put up with Steven's face today because when you have a cold, you don't feel like going on a vlog. Hmm. I don't like being sick. The past few days I've noticed I've had really, really bad acne, but it's all going now. It's hard vlogging and like watching them and all I can see is all my pimples, but they are going. All right guys, I'm gonna make some soup and I'm gonna jump straight back into bed because I don't wanna be sick for long. Tip, if you wanna afford a life of travel, find the good food deals. 10 cans of soup for 10 bucks. Yep, we're sorted. And also they had three packets of two minute noodles for 20, 20 90 cents, sorry. Right, three packs for 90 cents. So we got six packs, yes. Guys, it's 6.45 PM. The vlog is exporting. Good thing I met my four o'clock deadline. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we're just going through yesterday's vlog and then we were watching the bungee jumping and we thought, we just started talking about it and like the time we skydived and we thought we'd tell you guys about the experiences of skydiving versus bungee jumping. Mm -hmm. I was thinking first we could talk about what it felt like before we went skydiving and before we went bungee jumping and the differences. Mm, okay. Yeah, so I feel like when before I did skydiving, I was really nervous because I am really scared of heights and the scariest thing that we had done before that was going paragliding and parasailing
feeling, nothing like jumping out of an aeroplane. Um, so I was really nervous before, but then when we got to the center, we got we went skydiving and skydive Dubai. When I got to the center, it was like the atmosphere was really good, and you see all these people like strapping up and getting ready, and you meet your person that you're diving with. And I felt like for myself that all my fears went away, and I was really pumped and ready to do it. I felt like I was in like a really good state of mind to go and um, skydive. And then the difference with bungee jumping was I think when I got there, the realization hit that I was jump I was jumping by myself. Where like skydiving, you're jumping with someone. You could see the ground. With um, bungee jumping, you could see the ground, and so I felt like I was much more scared all the way up to the point of bungee jumping. Like with skydiving, I had that time to calm down and prepare my mind. Does that make sense? I feel like you can mentally prepare yourself more for skydiving than bungee jumping because it happens so quickly. Yeah, I'd, I, I'd probably similar? agree with the OT. I mean, I was like nervous for skydiving, funnily enough. When it was bungee jumping, I only thought about it literally five seconds before we jumped. With skydiving, I think I'd worked myself up that week oh, to do okay. it. Um, and then maybe I felt accomplished after skydiving. So I was like, yeah, whatever. I can do bungee jumping. But I definitely agree with the, the whole vibe thing. I think because it was in a center and you have to go in an airplane and wait. I, I think I agree. Yeah. And then what about the difference between like the feeling of skydiving and bungee jumping? Yeah, so I mean, I suppose with skydiving, skydiving uh, because you're in the plane you don't really get to see anything so you're sitting in the plane and you're actually feeling the speed of the plane as you're going up so you're almost like in the motion and it takes you like 20 minutes before you get into the sky so there's that preamp almost preparing you mm. and then when you jump out and you look down while you're falling because with skydiving you've got like the 15 seconds of free fall and then you pretty much parachute down for the next 20 minutes um, but the 15 seconds when you're falling because you're, you're like 15,000 feet above you know the ground the the place almost looks like toy sets because you know it looks fake almost you feel like when you jump out of a plane you feel like you're floating not falling because there's nothing around you for you to con compare your speed to does it make sense yeah. so like when i bungee jumped you could see the wall and you could see how fast you were going so you felt like you were actually falling with skydive i felt like i was floating mm. so it wasn't such a scary feeling mm. with bungee jumping when i jumped it's like a three second fall and then you spring back up and fall again spring back up and fall again yeah. and you feel Feel more like you're falling with yeah. bungee jumping which I think made bungee jumping feel so much more scarier because you could see the floor you could feel the fall but we yeah, with skydiving it was a very different feeling yeah definitely I mean I enjoyed both of them it, I'm, I've been cr like racking my head around it they are totally different experiences I mean they are both involve falling but not to the same extent I would give skydiving like a 10 out of 10 in top experiences and maybe bungee jumping a 9 out of 10 like very close for me like they're both fun maybe because I'm so close to it like I've had a year to sit on Dubai uh skydiving but I, I thought both of them were really so good. if you had to choose one if someone had to go do one one, what would you tell them to do? The after experience of doing the two experiences at the end of skydiving, I think I felt very accomplished. Like that's mm -hmm. one of those top adrenaline junky mm. thrill seeking adventures to do. So at the end of it, it was just like, wow. Mm. And it's so high. I skydived and you were so high. I still felt really cool that I bungee jumped. I mean, it could have been because I've already skydived. There's that factor into it as well. But if I had to choose between the two, I mean, I love them both but I would just winning by an inch I'd say skydiving is a better experience mm. than bungee jumping I feel like if you're like a major adrenaline junkie then you would prefer bungee because bungee I feel is more scary like after experience it but I would recommend people if you are scared of heights to do skydiving even though yeah skydiving might sound scarier bungee you're jumping higher? Bungee jumping for me was way scarier, so I recommend for people scared of heights to do skydiving. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And you might, after skydiving, want to do bungee jumping. Mm. I mean, I that's what I wanted to do, but I, I still felt that I wanted to skydive first. Mm. If you have any other questions about skydiving and bungee jumping, now that we've experienced both, pop them down in the comments below and we'll answer them for you. Yeah, we I'm might put it into like a blog post or something on Fly in the Nest. And yeah, that's a good questions. idea. We'll do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, um, um, but... but have you guys skydived or have you guys bungee jumped? Have you done both? Yeah, tell us what you think is what did you Are enjoy you more? Wanting to do it? Like yeah, leave it below and we'll start a little discussion. Sorry we weren't didn't vlog much today. I haven't been feeling very well today and Stephen was all wrapped up editing the vlog. <laughs> yeah. We filmed a bit too much, I think, we yesterday. Did. We got a bit excited in beautiful Whistler. But uh thanks so much for watching guys and yeah. we'll uh, see you tomorrow. Good night guys, bye. bye.